wait for, for us to get started with this Zoom call. Um, we got less, less than a minute, family, less than a one minute. All right, family. Hey, the time is now 8.04. Um, again, my name is Delano, and I want to welcome everybody to our Monday Money Making Motivational Mindset Zoom that we do each and every single Monday at 8 o'clock, guys. Um, our real wholesalers are us were started almost six years ago um, by Will and Tim, and their intention and their goal was to pretty much share their 25 plus years of real estate experience with the community. Since then, um, they helped a lot of partners get their first checks. Of course, they helped a lot of sellers uh, get rid of their property, which is a huge problem for them. They helped a lot of partners, period. Um, buyers get great deals. They pretty much just helped you know, the economy of, of Atlanta. Um, so guys, if you're here, you're definitely in the right place. If you're a newbie, hey, these guys right here, guys, when it comes to wholesaling, these guys got great knowledge, great wisdom and experience, and they're, they're down to earth, great brothers. Definitely trust them. Um, and I love doing business with these brothers here, but I could go on and on about how, how great these brothers have been to my life and my family. Um, but without further ado, I want to welcome Will Galloway and Tim Harvey on the line. Hey, Delano, how's it going? Hey, Tim, I'm great. How you doing? Man, I'm grateful, man. Can you see and hear us? Yes, sir. I can see you and hear you. All right. All right. Perfect, 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 guys. Well, listen, guys, uh, welcome, welcome to REI Wholesalers R Us. Uh, thank you and welcome to, for coming to the REI Wholesalers R Us Money Making Motivational Mindset Zoom. Uh, guys, my name is Tim Hardy. Uh, my partner's name is Will Galloway. Before we get started, I just want to thank God uh, for giving us this opportunity to even do this, uh, giving us this opportunity to put this Zoom together, guys, uh, giving us this opportunity to start this group, Wholesalers R Us, guys, uh, your one-stop uh, shop for wholesaling community, guys. Um, again, my name is Tim Harvey. That's my partner, Will. And the guy that introduced you guys, uh, introduced us today, his name is uh, Delano Logan. Uh, sellers like to call him Logan. And uh, we are so grateful, man. We're grateful to him, man, for um, for putting in the work, uh, for putting this, uh, for helping us, uh, helping us, man, organize and um, and being on this call every single week, uh, doing the hosting and all the other things that he does with wholesalers or us, guys. We are so grateful to him uh, for put, for helping us uh, with this uh, with this endeavor. And uh, guys, uh, welcome to REI Wholesalers or us Money Making Motivational uh, Mindset Zoom. My name is Tim. That's uh, Will. And uh, I just want to welcome everybody out, um, everybody that's on Facebook. Um, want to welcome everybody that's on Zoom, guys. I uh, want to welcome everybody that's um, going to be on YouTube, guys. Welcome out um, to our call. Uh, welcome out to our platform. Uh, again, you know, me and Will, we got started back in uh, 2015. Uh, me and Will were partners doing business and real estate. Uh, did a whole bunch of wholesale deals together um, and uh, just decided, you know, God impressed upon us uh, to start a community, uh, a, a community of like-minded people um, that wanted to do real estate together, want to do it together in the right way and, uh, and just, you know, make money together, you know, as a community. And, uh, you know, once we, you know, once we got started, started off, you know, started off just doing a, um, um, doing a meetup in the cafeteria. And uh, it's grown since then, uh, over 5,000 partners and members. And uh, since then, I mean, we've been able to help a lot of people get their first check. Uh, we've been able to help a lot of people, you know, actually become six-figure um, six figure earners in this business. Been able to help a lot of people, just, just partner with a lot of people in, um, in, in buying and selling real estate, guys. And we have been blessed in that endeavor. And uh, I'm so grateful uh, to you guys. Thank you guys for jumping on tonight. Um, again, I mean, you know, we are grateful because, you know, you could be doing anything else, um, but you're here on Monday. Uh, you know, with us. And uh, it's such a blessing uh, to be here on, uh, on Monday night. Uh, partner, how you doing? Um, you know, we, you know we, we, we talked a little bit earlier today, man, about our teams, man. 
you know, we, 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 we talked about the, you know, we talked about the Braves, you know, we talked about the, uh, you know, we talked about the Falcons and uh, of course we talked about them dogs, man. I'm gonna let you do your introductions, man, but I want to talk about that a little bit as, um, <laughs> man, as, as, as we get it going. Uh, yeah, man. Well, first off, let me um, give all the praise and glory to my Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, um, for just allowing us, <clears throat> excuse me, this platform to be uh, to uh, be heard uh, every Monday consistently. Uh, we've been doing this, I want to say, what, three, four years now. The Monday call, of course, the meetup started back in 2015, five, going on six years ago. Uh, so just to just to be able to um, be in a position to be able to have impacted so many people over these last years. Um, I thought about it, man, it's just such a blessing. Um, they say that, you know, blessings, you know, come when you're able to bless others. Um, and that's when you're really, that's when, the, that's when you're really um, having an impact uh, is when you're able to um, be a servant to other people and just be impactful and inspirational to other people. And um, we both take that very seriously. That's one of the, reasons why we started this community was we we wanted to get outside of just us and we wanted to share our resources and our expertise to everybody that's around us and we wanted everybody around us to win um if anybody knows us they know that anybody that's around us you know we all want them to win we want them uh, to make money uh specifically of course in real estate but again we dedicated this monday uh, to challenge you mentally, because we understand a lot of our followers or just a lot of people that um, listen to, listen in on us. Um, everybody's either not in real estate or some people may be in real estate or want to be in real estate, but may get that calling that this is not what they're supposed to be doing, you know. And if that is you, you know, we still welcome you because, again, mental mindset is specifically not just real estate related. It's, it's life related. You know, it, it has something to do with everything in your life from personal to spiritual to physical, mental, everything you think about, um, you know, it all it all starts up here. So you have to, um, you know, be locked in spiritually and mentally uh, in order to, uh, you know, gain a good harvest from what God has anointed you to really do and determine what your true why is and what your true purpose is. I think that's the ultimate blessing is to truly, truly find out what your real purpose is. You know, some people live a lifetime and go to the grave and never get a chance to exercise the anointing that God had put on them because truth, truth be told that everybody has an anointing. Everybody has something that they're supposed to be doing. Your job is to figure out what that is. And, um, you know, luckily I found mine and I'm grateful, uh, you know, to be in real estate. Uh, I was... Um, talking to my cousin, um, I think I had seen him earlier on Facebook, um, but I was talking to my cousin um, uh, the other day, he was in town and um, he was like, cuz man, he said, man, I remember, you know, um, we we had went um, right before you got started in real estate. I remember, man, we went to that seminar together, man. And he was like, man, you you stood you stood to it, man. You you kept going, man, you, you and I'll look at you, you know what I'm saying? So. I was just laughing. I had, you know, I had totally forgot about that, but this was before I even got started. You know, me and him went to a actual, you know, one of them, um, you know, one of them free webinars, not webinar, actually one of them free seminars, you know, where they teach you about real estate and stuff like that on the little class. And then of course they're trying to sell you on a package. And um, I think, you know, I didn't, I didn't get sold on the package, but it sparked an interest in me. You know, it sparked something inside of me and um, it made me say, you know what? I think, you know, this real estate thing, I, I think this is, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. It just felt, it felt good. It felt different. Um, and when you choose, and when you praying for a God to, uh, you know, tell you what you're supposed to be doing, um, it's supposed to, to me, my opinion, it's supposed to feel good. You know, it's something in your spirit and your soul is supposed to feel good. And I'm not going to say in the beginning, it's going to be easy and I'm not going to say the journey is not going to be hard but it's supposed to feel good I think anything that's of God anything that he puts on you is supposed to make you feel good the the true the true challenge is for now that it feel good turn that into a reality bring it to birth you know what I'm saying um give your all 
you know, do whatever you have to do by any means necessary, you know, besides anything illegally, of course, but do everything in your power to push that goal, push that dream, push that purpose forward, you know, because you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing your family a disservice if you don't take it all the way, if you don't go all the way to the end. And when I say I'll go all the way to the end, I mean, if you, if, if this is what you're supposed to be doing, um, you have to be all in. I would rather you, to be honest with you, if you choosing real estate to do you to um to be what you're supposed to be doing, I would I would respect it enough if you closed your first deal, and after that you said, well, you know what, I closed the deal, I made some money, but this is just not for me. At least you didn't quit. At least you put forth an effort. But if you if you getting started and you don't go all the way to the end and finish, and you don't and you don't get a deal under your bed at least, you know, to me, I mean, I I just feel like you know. You're going to treat if you if you if you give all in, if you don't give all in, if you don't give everything you got and you just let it go just that fast. What happens when the next go round, when the next dream come or the next obstacle, the next goal come in front of you? Are you going to finish or are you just going to quit? You know, so you have to think about that. You know, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family um, to be the best at whatever it is you're supposed to be doing, you know, and, and finish. You know, that's the main thing is finish, finish strong. And you never out of the game. You you never lose until you quit, point blank. I don't care if you don't close a deal to two, three years. I don't care how long it takes. As long as you do not quit, you're still in the game. You're still in the game. You know, it's a lot of you listening right now have not closed the first deal yet. Guess what? You're still in the game. You have not, as long as you don't quit, you're still in the game. You don't know, like, the way God moves, he moves so fast, so, 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 so fast. You could be right now, one year in, two years in, ain't close the deal. Then boom, all of a sudden, the right opportunity, the right relationship, the right partnership, the right situation, the right deal, the right seller, the right everything just come all together. It can come within a seconds. Like it's, you know, but again, you have to be in the game to be able to receive it. You know, if you if you give in and you say, you know what, this just ain't what I thought it was. You know, if if it ain't what you thought it was. So what? I mean, it's not going to be what you thought it was. Anything that's, you know, any blessing is not going to be easy. You know, if it was easy, don't you think everybody would be doing it? Don't you think everybody would be doing real estate? Because again, it's sexy. It's, you know, everybody wants to sell houses. You know, yeah, it's, it's a great profession. But people make it look easy. But really, it's, 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 it's to me, it's, it's really a, a, it's a lot involved. And I don't say that to scare anybody or to discourage anybody, but I'm just I'm just I'm just spitting facts. But one thing I will say is once you get it, you got it. You know, this to me, um, once you get this, you should be able to provide for your family for the rest of your life. To be honest with you, you should be able to provide for your family for the rest of your life because you have a niche that you learn and there's always going to be a need for it. There's always going to be a need to sell houses. There's always going to be a need for real estate. People always need somewhere to live. It's always going to be a niche for it. It don't matter if we're in a recession. It don't matter if it's an up market, a down market. People were making millions in 2008 when the market crashed. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, lost their shirts. Yeah, a lot of people lost investments, but guess what? People were making money in the recession. People were making money. Even earlier this year, you know, when we had COVID, when the market, everybody was like, oh, you know, everybody paused and stopped buying. And, you know, everybody got scared of the market and how everything was going. And, you know, of course, everybody got nervous because we didn't know what to expect. I mean, it was something new to all of us. We didn't know. But guess what? The market slowed down a little bit. But guess what? We were still making money. We were still closing deals during COVID. You know, people were still making money during COVID, you know. It was people still making money during COVID. But again, it's a mindset. You know, a lot of people took the mindset and said, you know what, man, it's COVID. Everybody's, you know, quarantining. Everybody's in the house. Like, we got to shut down. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to stop working. You know, like, man, like, we don't, we don't know what's going on. But then you have them other people with a whole nother different mindset. They like, okay, you know what? We quarantining. You know what? Now we got to revamp the plan. Now we got to revamp our businesses. Now we got to, you know, see what in the business we need, what we need to shave and remove off. Because now, you know, it might be a blessing that we making the business be more leaner. You know what I'm saying? Because now 
you know, we a lot of things that we were overlooking before this. Now we're realizing like, man, a lot of this stuff can be done virtually or man. Maybe we can cut back over here or maybe we can cut back over here. Or, hey, you know, now that extra hundred dollars a month, you know, coming over here might help over here. And now you're able to see and God was able to, you know, sit everybody down and really it was to sit you down so you can look at the bigger picture. So you can look at your future and say, OK, this is what's in front of me. Now, how do I attack it? You know, not, you know, this is what's in front of me. Now I got to quit because the world's coming to an end. You know, again, that's that's a that's a mindset, you know, so we got to get to a place where, you know, um, we just become more aggressive, man. And we just, you know, I know we talked earlier about, you know, what the conversation is going to be about. Um, I mean, me personally, man, like the conversation needs to be about, you know, finishing strong, being aggressive, you know, um, getting that mo. I told you earlier today, you know, we were talking about, you know, we had our own private conversation earlier, Tim, and. We were just talking about, you know, um, you know, what's going on in our industry and what a lot of other people are doing, you know, that we know and what people are trying to do. And I said, you know what, man, I don't care what nobody else is doing. I don't want to know what everybody else is doing. You know, I'm at the point now where I'm 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 almost contemplating on shutting down social media because I don't want to block my mind into looking at what somebody else is doing. I don't want to even imagine or picture what the next person doing because God has already provided me a plan. It's up to me to implement the plan, you know, and one thing you don't want to do is get discouraged or not even get discouraged. Um, get in the way of looking at what somebody doing and then end up blocking your, your journey and your path, what you supposed to be doing. You could be supposed to be going right, but then your mind end up going left because of something you saw, you know, so, or something you heard from somebody else, you know, so, you know, Keep your circle, you know, whoever your circle is, you know, keep it tight and, you know, um, focus on, you know, getting better and making sure, you, you know, whatever you're doing, make sure, you know, you you being a blessing to other people. You know, I, I think that's really the formula, you know, stick to whatever you're supposed to be doing. Uh, make sure you impacting the people that's around you and everything else going to come together, you know, like when you know this is what you're supposed to be doing like in real estate like opportunities come to us sometimes i don't even know where they they just come from nowhere like i'd be like wow like god is like amazing where you can literally be sitting here and then all of a sudden you got a deal on the contract and you didn't even look for the deal you know what i'm saying so a seller done called you and you don't even know how they got your number you know it'd it be stuff like that and, it, and again it ain't nothing but god but when you position yourself the right way those type of things, those type of blessings are going to come, you know, normal. I mean, it's a, it's a normal thing. They, they're always going to come like that. Um, yeah. But again, you can jump in, man. I, I just, you know, just kind of um, chiming in. I know you seem like you wrote some notes down, so. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I was just, you know, I, I was just focusing on what you were saying. And as I was focusing on what you were saying, you know, I always like to go back to the word and, uh, you know, what the word says about it. And, uh, you know, you talk about finishing strong, you know, and there also being a plan, um, you know, if there's a plan, you know, like this is, you know, of course, this is the end of the year, um, you know, the, this is the time that you just run with the plan, you know what I'm saying, like you just run, and uh, you just do, you know, you just do, you know, what it is that you said you were going to do before, you know, whatever, you know, whatever you said, you know, whatever didn't happen, did happen, what have you, whatever it is, then uh, you just go ahead and go with the plan. Um, you know, of, 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 of what happened, you know, of what you said you were going to do. And what I'm so grateful of is that, you know, here, you know, here with Wholesalers R Us, you know, Will and Tim, um, I mean, there's a plan, you know what I'm saying? There's a definite plan, you know, and, uh, and, you know, and God, you know, God instructed us, God put a plan, you know, for us together, you know, God put a plan um, in place uh, for us and, um, and we're implementing the plan. And, uh, you know, by grace, you know, by God's grace, you know, those that are working the plan with us, you know, are winning. And, we, you know, we're grateful for that. But, you know, I, I like to go ahead and uh, take it back to the word, man. And, um, you know, as you were talking, man, you know, and, and of course, you know, we, you know, we kind of, you know, we, we, we kind of freestyle this thing. But at the same time, you know, we yield to the Holy Spirit where the Holy Spirit is, uh, you know, is, is, you know, is present. So, you know, I, I want to go to a verse in 2 Corinthians um, 8, verses uh, 10 through 12. And uh, this, is, this is like perfect for, 
you know, for, for what, you know, for what we're talking about, you know, it says, and in this, and I'm using, I'm reading the new King James version. Okay. So it's the new King James version, just in case you guys want to look for it, but second Corinthians eight, 10 through 12. And you guys, I just want you guys to know, you know, the Bible is the ultimate business book. I mean, it is the ultimate business book. I mean, you can get, you know, books on this, books on that, you know, whatever book that you get, but the Bible is the ultimate business book. And I guarantee you, most of the stuff that they that you're reading in a lot of these books, you know, is coming from the Bible. So I decide, you know, we, we decide, you know, let's just go straight to the source, but it says here, and in this, I give advice. It is to your advantage, not only to be doing what you began, and we're desiring to do a year ago, <laughs> what you were desiring to do a year ago, um, but now you must also complete the doing of it, okay? So you were excited about it a year ago, you began it a year ago, but now it's time to complete the actual doing of it, you know, the taking action. That is, there was a readiness to desire it. So, you know, listen, you know, at the beginning, you know, if, you know, you get excited about real estate. I like what you said, you know, uh, you know, real estate sexy, you know, it's the thing to do, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you were, you know, you were, there was a readiness to desire it then. Okay. But, you know, you've got to go ahead and complete the task. What I love about God is God actually understands how we think as humans. He understands human emotions and he understands like where we are. So there was a readiness to desire it. So there is also maybe a completion out of what you have. So you got to complete this thing. So for if there is first a willing mind, okay, a willing mind, okay, it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he does not have, okay? I'm going to read that over. Somebody just asked. Let me just check. I think somebody said to read it over. Okay, Sarah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, Sarah, I'm going to read it right over, okay? This is 2 Corinthians 8, 10 through 12, okay? And in this, I give advice. It is to your advantage, not only to be doing what you began and were desiring to do a year ago, but now you must also complete the doing of it. That is, there was a readiness to desire it. So there also may be a completion out of what you have. For if there is first a willing mind, remember we talk about mindset, wow. it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he does not have. So what, you know, what, what I get out of that is that you've been given all the tools. I mean, all the tools are already there to complete the task. All the tools are already there to win the game. All the tools are already there to make it happen, you know, here in this fourth quarter, last couple of weeks, you know, the tools are already there. Doesn't matter what you don't have, but you already have it. You already have it. You've got to complete the task. It's already been birthed. It's already there. It's already in your spirit. It's already out there in the world. So you, for you not to complete the task that you started. For you not to complete the task that you started, that, that, that means that there are aborted babies out there, per se, you know, of, of, of whatever, you know, inspiration that you have or whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. Somebody else is going to catch that. Somebody else is going to catch what it was that you were inspired about a year ago. And this is all coming from the word, guys. So, so, so listen, you've got to complete it. You know, we, you know, we talk about our dialing for dollars program. Okay. And, you know, listen, you know, it's, we are grateful um, for that program because listen, God gave us that program. God literally gave us that program and uh, he actually put the program together. All we did, all we're doing is we're working on faith. Me and Will are working on faith <laughs> with this program. And we are what we are in the phase of completing that task. That's what we're doing right now. So, you know, the, another part of the word says in Habakkuk 2, it also says that if you make the plan, something about making the plan, when you make the plan, those that see it will run with it. You know what I'm saying? Write the plan down, make it plain. Those that see it will run with it. Well, listen, you know, the other part of that is, you know, God inspired us to write this plan, put this plan together, a dialing for dollars program. Listen, God's supposed to run with it, you know. If you're down with this, then you're supposed to run with this program. 
run with the plan. It's already been set. Everything in the in the fourth quarter, in the fourth quarter, all you have to do, the plays are already been called in the fourth quarter. All you have to do in the fourth quarter is just react. That's all you have to do in the fourth quarter. Take action in the fourth quarter. Keep going with the action. Keep going. You know, whatever it is that you started, just keep going in the fourth quarter. You shouldn't be thinking about it. I'm just being honest. You shouldn't be thinking about it. You shouldn't be moving to the left. You shouldn't be moving to the right, but just moving forward in the fourth quarter. It's almost like a racehorse, okay? Why do you think that racehorses, why do you think that they're giving like, like they're giving blinders, you know, like, like racehorses are giving blinders when they're, um, when, when, when they're, um, when they're racing in the Kentucky Derby, in the Kentucky Derby, excuse me, but they're giving blinders so that they don't look to the left or to the right. And that, that the, the, the full concentration is on moving forward. You know, there's nothing to think about, but just doing what it is that you've been training to do. You know, you, you know, you, you, you're excited about it, you know, and, and I know the excitement can run, the excitement can wear away. Yes, it does. The excitement wears away with frustration. You know, you know, this didn't happen, that didn't happen, but guess what? Guess what? You've got to complete the course. You've got to complete the course. Don't abort the course. You've got to move forward. That's what this fourth quarter is all about. We talk about sports teams all the time, right? And the reason that we talk about sports teams is, of course, you know, me and Will are, you know, we're avid sports fans. We love sports. But the reason that we love sports is because we love the psychology of winning and losing. We love the psychology of winning and losing. We love what separates the winners from the losers. We love what separates the, 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 the beginners to the completers. There was, there, was a, um, there was an article I read about um about the los angeles clippers okay and i don't know i don't know how true this is but there's an article i read about los angeles clippers and i read that they did not like being in the bubble environment i read that they did not like being in the bubble environment and that's one and, and they were one of the favorites to win the championship over your lebron lakers lebron lakers but they did not like the bubble environment, so they got eliminated because of their mindset. They were thinking about the wrong thing, you know, just 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 thinking about the things that you shouldn't be thinking about. And LeBron and his team, you know, the Lakers, you know, um, you know, my cousin Dwight Howard, you know, all those guys were totally focused, had total just blinders on when it came to winning that championship. And there's no doubt as to why they went, why they won that championship is because they had the mindset that they were going to do it. You know, they had the mindset that they weren't going to think about anything else. They had the mindset that they were going to complete the task, complete the mission. I remember LeBron after every, after every win that he had, you know, after every win that he had, he was like, it's not over. Got to keep going. Not over. Got to keep going. Even after wins, he's like, not over. Got to keep going. A person with blinders, a person with blinders looking at completing the task. Listen, this task, this task that we're talking about, you know, the end of it is going to be December 31st, <laughs> you know, December 31st of this year. And guys, we have to run with blinders. We have to run like chickens with our heads cut off. You know, me and Will, we're in position to actually review properties like every single day. You know, we find ourselves now reviewing properties every single day. You know, you know, is this a deal? Is that a deal? Okay, let's see it. Let's see how it works. You know, blah, blah, blah. We do it every single day. So what we're doing is we're actually com conditioning our minds. We're conditioning our minds. And I like what Delano said, um, I think it was uh, last week or the week before, but he said something about, you know, working through the nose to get to our yes. Working through the nose to get to our yes. And that's what, and that's what, that's what, that's what racing is all about. Working through the nose to get to your yes. The person that first gets to the, that works through enough nose and gets to that yes is the person that wins. And that's the mindset that we have to have. Got to work through my nose to get to my yes. And that's, um, that's what it is. So the verse, you know, the verse, I just thought that the verse is um, appropriate. Second Kings. Eight, I'm, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 8, 10 through 12, very appropriate for what we're doing now. 
you know, um, do, you know, complete what you began, complete what you were desiring a year ago, complete the doing of it. You know, it's not enough just to complete the, you know, the, 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 the mental part of I'm excited about real estate. I'm excited about it. You know, it's not enough. It's not, it's not enough. You've got to go ahead and put your faith with your action. You know, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. So you've got to put it with your action, you know, complete the doing of it, complete the doing of it, complete the doing of it, complete the doing of it. That's why we had to, you know, we put together a plan. We put together a plan. The plan is clear, dialing for dollars or driving for either one, you know, dialing for dollars or driving for dollars is the absolute plan that's going to get you where you need to go. That was good, man. I, I, I want to say, uh, just to piggyback off the scripture you said earlier, um, what stood out to me the most about that scripture, it was basically talking about what I spoke about, you know, and, yeah. you know, for the part where you said, you know, whatever that is, whatever that idea was you had a year ago, you know what I'm saying? Like, you need, you basically, it's basically saying that a lot of you um, have dreams and desires of certain, certain, you know, to start a business or to do something and what happens is it just becomes it, it it just becomes something you just it becomes a thought but for some reason you just never have the courage or never have um, the faith to be able to bring it to life and um there's a lot of dreams that are being killed right now you know yeah. because Morning. you guys don't have the heart to fulfill those dreams you know once it's on your spirit it's there for a reason once it becomes a desire, it's there for a reason, you know, so you really strongly need to consider whatever, you know, that business was that you still haven't started yet or whatever that, you know, that plan was that you were supposed to be implementing that you still just been putting on the back burner, you know, you strongly need to consider, you know, getting it going. And one of the main things um, it also talked about was once you get it going, one thing I learned in life is especially for entrepreneurship i think that a lot of us hold back or we um procrastinate on moving forward because we feel like it's something missing we feel right. like it's something extra that we have to get or something right. that we have to do or i don't have enough money or this it's always some type of excuse that's holding us back but one thing i've learned in life and even through my journey of entrepreneurship is when God when God provides a plan, He'll He'll make it He'll make it to where whatever you have, you can work with what you got until you right. get to where you're going. You know, so if you come into it with nothing, then guess what? He'll provide the resources for you to be able to get started. Right. You know, it, it's called my wife just said it's called wisdom. You know, He'll provide the wisdom for you to turn nothing into something right because a god-fearing business sometimes it comes from the mud it comes from turning nothing into something Out you know, the mud, like my man yeah, said. It's coming from the mud like when i say coming from the mud i mean like coming from like dirt nothing like right. literally like you know it's people who became millionaires or just people who became successful entrepreneurs and they'll tell you their story if you listen to all these stories they all sound alike i didn't have yeah. nothing i came from poverty i came from this i came from that like, but one thing about it is they didn't let that stop them. They didn't let, they didn't stop there and say, okay, I'm from the good, I'm from the head of, I'm in ghetto, I'm from the uh, poverty, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have the resources. I didn't go to school, you know, um, over here at Harvard. So I don't have the degrees, you know, to be able to do this. You know, you, he got the degrees or she got the degrees. So that person's better off than me. You know, yeah. that person had, you know, both of their parents in their life. So, I didn't have my dad in my life. So basically that person got it better than me. You know what I'm saying? Or that person graduated from high school and went to college and I didn't graduate, I got a GED. It don't even matter. Like all that stuff is irrelevant. It don't matter. It's irrelevant because guess what? When God put a plan and he put a purpose in your life and he and He anoints you to do something, you can you can be that person that, that don't have a college uh, education, don't have a high school diploma, but you'll be the one to succeed because guess what? Your blessing coming from him and it's not self-made. It's not man-made. 
It's coming from him. Therefore, nothing can stop it but you. You know, so you have to be focused on, you know what? When God put it on my heart to do what it is I'm supposed to be doing, let me see what I got right now. What do I have to work with? Yeah. What I got? $20, $100? Let me see how I can work this $100. What I got? $50? Let me see how I can work this $50. Don't think about, oh, it's going to take thousands of dollars to start right. this business. Right. Don't you know, even like, You really got to start from the ground up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When I started this business, I didn't have nothing. I mean, I had, only thing I had was support of my family, of course, you know what I'm saying? That was there. But, but at the end of the day, like financially, I didn't have thousands of dollars to invest into this business. I didn't. Yeah. But guess what? Yeah. I had the will. I had the drive. I had the passion. And to me, that outweighs any money because people with money, they'll just think that money is just going to get them everywhere. It's going to get me here. It's going to get me there. But guess what? It comes a time where that drive, the determination, the passion, all of this stuff can't be bought. And guess what? That's what's going to get you to the level you're trying to get to in your business, into life. And money can't buy those things. You can't buy passion. No, you can't buy drive. You can't buy none of that stuff that's going to get you to where you need to go. So don't worry about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that'll come. Don't worry about the money. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it reminds me about what we have going on. That was one of the prime reasons why we started the dollar for dollars program yeah. because for one we realized that a lot of people coming into here newbies coming into the you know first thing they're gonna come out and say is the reason why i'm not doing the business is because i don't have a marketing budget we, we've heard it over the years leads. i don't we've have heard. leads i don't have nobody who can show me how to make calls you know i don't i don't know what to do with the leads or i don't have leads or i don't have marketing whatever you know what i'm saying like all the excuses is out of the door it's out of it's, it's no more excuses you know, so if you serious about um, being uh, being in this business, sometimes you have to be to the point, you know, where, you know what, you like, you know what, I'm an internship, you know what I'm saying, mindset. I'm like, let me be a servant. Let me bring something to the table, you know, and learn, earn and learn, and then let that grow into, you know, whatever type of business or whatever it is you're trying to do, let it, let it, let it grow into that. Sometimes you got to come, come into a situation you know, trying to figure out how you can assist somebody, how you can be a blessing to somebody else. You have to come into it already with that type of mentality. You can't come into it like, you know, just getting started. And the first thing you want to talk about is how much money you going to make. Right. Like, right. what is, I mean, I mean, right. it's, to me, it's not even about that right now. Right. Do you know the value with, you know, having a conversation with us? And I'm not too my horn. I'm not trying to say I'm all that or nothing like that. But I'm just saying, do you know the value of, a prayer with us? Do you know the value of a conversation with us? Us telling you what to do that's gonna change your financial financial situation, your business situation. You can't put a price on that. No. Yeah. You can't put a price on that. So you know you just got to you know humble yourself and you know say you know what I'm all in. You know you know God has already told me. Um, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, um, and if this is what you're supposed to be doing, then God's going to put you around the right people to make it happen. Yeah, He's going to put you around the right people to make it happen. I think back, like I say, when I got started in this business, uh, what, eight years ago, I mean, I really didn't have a plan, but, you know, I started writing it down. I started envisioning, I, visual, I started visualizing you know, what I wanted it to look like. And, you know, one thing led to another, things started coming together. I started praying for the right relationships, praying for God to provide me wisdom and um, inspiration and the right partnerships. Two, three years later into the business, you know, I met Tim, you know, and other people along the way and, you know, it only take one relationship, one situation, one deal, you know, that can change your whole life. But again, if I would have just gave up back then, if I didn't hang in, hang in as long as I did, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. You know, I probably would be, you know, no disrespect. I'd probably be working a nine to five right now, providing for my family. And, and that's cool. I mean, you know, if that's what you're doing, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, do what you got to do to provide for your family. All I'm saying is, I'm not telling you to become an entrepreneur. I'm not telling you to do real estate. I'm just saying, if God puts something on your heart, you need to be doing everything in your power to pursue that because you don't know how far that's going to take you. You know, you might be, 
you might be a millionaire in the making and, and stunt yourself because you don't have the faith to believe that whatever God put in your heart, that that's what's going to take you to the next level. So at the end of the day, like it's your choice. You know what I'm saying? You might be a walking millionaire and don't even know it. Don't even know it. Most people, you know what? Most people go to the grave and they was a walking millionaire, walking billionaire, take it even farther, billionaire, had that type of mentality, that type of mindset. But somewhere in the long line, somewhere along the line, fear invaded, you know, this their their spirit, you know, the devil intertwined it, you know what I'm saying, and 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 tricked them out of their blessing. You know what I'm saying? And it happens every single day. It happens every single day. Every single day. Yeah. You got to stay focused, man. You got to stay focused. You got to stay locked in, um, you know, and work with what you got. You know, I know you were talking about sports earlier. I'm going to say this before, you know, I know you want to jump on, jump in real quick, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relate it to sports. You know, sometimes you got to understand that um, you already have you already have what you need to, to be successful. The, the tools and the resources is already there. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna relate it to sports. We talked earlier about the Falcons, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's our team. You know, they've been having a bad season, but you know, you know, we still down, you know what I'm saying? And I was talking to you earlier, I was um, listening to um, Julio, he was talking and they was asking him about the game and they was asking him about, you know, what changed and you know, what he thought happened. And he said, you know what? Um, practice was different, you know what I'm saying? He said Raheem kind of, you know, in practice, like he kind of challenged us, you know what I'm saying? Right. He right. basically held us accountable. And when we weren't getting it right in practice, he kept making us do it over and over. And he kept yeah. pushing us and pushing us. And he said that if you don't get it right in practice, what make you think you're going to get it right Sunday in the game? So it starts here, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So automatically he started trying to shift their mindsets. He got together with all the captains of the team, the leaders of the defense, the leaders of the offense. And he started, rec- he started um, making them recognize who they are, talking to them about what abilities they already have, you know, and reminding them of you are a winner. You know, you are a winner. You are, you know, say a conqueror, you know, and sometimes people have to be told that. Sometimes people have to remind themselves of, you know what? I do got what it takes to win. I do got what it takes to succeed. Now I have to take this thinking and I have to implement it on the field. And then all of a sudden, last Sunday was a totally different game. And I'm not sitting here saying they're going to win out and they're going to win all the rest of their games. But I say that to say sometimes you already have what it takes. For one, you have to believe. Two, you have to work with what you got. Like I talked about earlier, the Falcons didn't change. Then nobody, they didn't draft a new player or they didn't get a new trade or nothing like that. They had the same team. But you got to work with what you got. But it's all about the mindset coming in already with that mentality, like I'm a winner and I have what it takes. I have the athleticism. I know that I'm that we can outperform this other team. I know we're better than them, but you have to be able to think that way. You have to believe that. And I think, you know, and, and, and again, I'm not tooting Raheem's horn, but I, I just think that he gave them that belief back. He even, did. When down, he did. even when they done lost five straight games, he gave them that belief that they can do it. And they, they took it to the field and had an awesome game. You know what I'm saying? Put up 40 points. I think that's the most points they done put up this season. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Three takeaways, three interceptions, like the first, second half or something like that. I mean, Matt, you know, he he even was looking good. You know, I'm, I'm critical of Matt. I'm, I always say that that, I, I don't like Matt. But that again, you know, he, he had an awesome, he had a good game. I mean, I give props, you know. So nothing changed. They just worked with what they had. But I think that the belief system is starting to change. Yeah. And sometimes it comes from leadership, you know, so, you know, leader, you know, when you have a leader that you believe in and somebody that, you know, telling you something and you buying into what they're saying, then that changes your mindset. So, I think, and I say that to say, watch who you, and that, and that's, and, that, and, and I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you get the on mic, but when I say leadership, pay attention to who is your influence. Yeah. Because you might be influenced by somebody who you might look at as a leader but really, if you pull back the curtains, you don't really know what that person really situation is. It might not right. be what it looks like, you know. So just be careful who you influenced by and who you vibe and listening to and who you letting invade your space because your space needs to be protected at all times. You know, it needs to be led by the spirit and not by not by no man. 
you know, so just, you know, just pay attention to that. You were saying something, bro? No, I, I was just agreeing with you. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in complete agreement. Um, you know, Raheem, um, you know, Raheem, he actually, you know, challenged their mindsets is what he did. You know, Raheem didn't just sit there and uh, be like, okay, you know, you know, we, you know, it's been a bad season. Let's just keep it going. No, you know, Raheem challenged their mindsets, you know, and, and, you know, also, you know, he, you know, a lot of these guys felt like their backs were up against the wall. You know, um, Matt Ryan said, all of our lockers are for rent. <laughs> that what he said, all of our lockers are for rent. After Arthur Blank says, I don't know, if, you know, I don't know about the team. I don't know what's going on. You know, he said, all of our lockers are for rent. So I believe that there was a place where, you know, a lot of these guys were more comfortable than they should have been. And this is what we talk about all the time. You know, like, like in business, you should never be comfortable. You should never be comfortable in business. Matter of fact, in life, you should be, never be comfortable because what God says is we walk by faith to faith and glory to glory. And what that means is, is there should always be a challenge in front of you. You should never get comfortable no matter what. You should never get comfortable. Always challenge yourself to move forward, to do better, um, and to move forward. So I believe that that those were some of the essential um, 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 those were some of the essential characteristics of why they had that victory the way that they had it. Same guys, same team, different mindset. That's it. Same guys, same team, different mindset, same skill, same skill set. They didn't go oh, trade for anybody. It just, the, just the influence yeah. changed. You know, the influence. You know, yeah. like he could have said, you know what, we're going to keep practicing like we've been practicing. Yeah. We're going to keep doing the same thing we've been doing. That's why get the same results. You know, you have to come, you gotta come bring something new to the table. <clears throat> that's why, that's why those of us that may not have closed a deal or may not have closed a deal in a long time, you know, that's why listen, you've got to work harder than where you, you know, than, than what you've done. You you've got to push you got to push forward. You got to push faster than where you have. I mean, um, you've you've just got to do it. You know, you, you've just got to do it. It's the same thing. You know, the, the Julio Jones felt like his practices were a little bit harder. And, you know, yeah. Julio Jones, one of the greatest of all time, you know, at the end of the day, respects that. You know, at the end of the day, he respects that. So, you know, here it is. You know, I'm going to go back into the last part of this verse. It says, if there is a willing mind, if there is a willing mind, that means you don't have to have it. You don't have, I mean, it, 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 you know, all this stuff that you're thinking you have to have, you don't have to have it. If there's a willing mind, it is accepted according to what one already has, not according to what he does not have. This huh. is the Bible. If huh. there is a willing mind, so you got to have a willing mind to yeah. do this. It's accepted. You can't be thinking that you need this or you need that. You need to study more. You need to do more. You need to do that. I need to no. listen to this course. I need to read this book. I need to yeah, go to this class. I need to read another book. <laughs> Work with no, what you got. it's baloney. Work with it's what you baloney. Got. You already have everything that you need. It's already been provided for you. Um, you know, you you just got to do it. You know, you just you just got to do it. I want to give a shout out to some of the people that saying some really nice things. Um, shout out to uh, Miss Denise Perry. Hey, Miss Denise. Hey, she Denise. Said, she said, "Teach, preach, and gratefulness. Awesome teaching, Will and Tim." <laughs> Love the schooling of life and business starts with the right mindset. I know that's right. Praise God. And got some Praise of the God. other Thank people saying, um, Sierra, Lara saying, first time here. I'm really enjoying this. Dollar for Dollars program si sounds. Please tell us more. Uh, we definitely going to um, talk a little bit more about that. Um, she also said, this is so powerful. And then Cornell said, that's powerful, Will. You might be you might be a walking millionaire. Absolutely, I think everybody that's Absolutely. on the call is a walking millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Everybody I, I is. think that we all, if you think about it, we actually all are walking millionaires yes, because yeah. again, you were born with something purposely that you're supposed to be doing. Your ultimate goal in life is to get to get with God and figure out what that is. Because once right. you become, once you find out what that is, game over. Point blank. Yeah. Game yeah. Over. I mean, game over. I mean, you know, you 
you know, once you find out what that is from God, you know, complete the doing of it because as there was a readiness to desire it so that there also may be a completion out of what you have. That means a completion out of what you already have. You know, God may give you a new way to do things. You know, you may be the new, the new, the new standard, you know, the new way to do things, because, you know, if you're looking at what everybody else does, you know, there have already been set standards set, but, you know, God makes everybody, you know, a little bit different. The yeah. way that you do it with what you have may be the new standard. So think about it like that. Think of, you know, think about it. Whatever God put inside of you, he's already put enough inside of you. He's already, like he already, he says it in his word. I've already put it inside of you. So what are you going around looking for more? You've got to go ahead and just go ahead and move forward in it. Um, you know, God has blessed us, you know, to start this Dialing for Dollars program. Um, without him, you know, we, you know, we wouldn't have known what to do. You know what I'm saying? We just willing vessels in this thing. So with the Dialing for Dollars program, what, what, what's happened is God has allowed for us to, you know, to put together a program where we actually, you know, where we actually have unlimited, an unlimited amount of leads. Okay. And these are leads, you know, you know, these are different kinds of leads. These are leads of, of, of motivated sellers. And within those unlimited leads, you know, God has also matched us up with another program that allows us to dial, you know, to dial these leads, call these leads automatically. And as we call these leads automatically, then, um, you know, we find out, you know, what, you know, to what level these people, you know, would like to sell their house and whatever level they like to sell their house. Listen, you know, we're going after it. We're going aggressively after each lead, you know, each lead that's called each lead that's, you know, that, that that's represented, we will go aggressively after it and until we, we will take our no's until we get to our yeses. And that's what we're doing right now as a team. You know, we're building out a team. We, you know, we've got a team of partners now, you know, that are actually, you know, making calls now every single day. Um, and, and it's just an awesome, 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 awesome program. So, and, and did I mention that it's free? <laughs> that's the best part. You know, the program is free. You know, it's not a, we're not, we're not charging for it or anything like that. God, God put this on, a, on our heart to not charge but just go ahead and just do it for free and uh, and fulfill our commitments as uh, as leaders of this community. So, you know, I'm excited about it. Um, well, get in touch with us, man. Like if somebody interested in knowing more. About yeah. It. I mean, get in touch with us at REI wholesalers are us at gmail.com. I think we put it uh, down there in the chat pop chat box, but uh, get in touch with us. Uh, God bless you too, Sarah. Um, but getting uh, get in touch with us at REI wholesalers are us at gmail.com. Uh, OT said full speed ahead. That's exactly it. Oh, gee. Big ups, OT. You know, he was on the, um, he was. Um, and he did an amazing job Saturday, Saturday man. man. Ah. Um, Deanna this weekend had yeah. an excellent, excellent, excellent podcast this weekend at 12. And, um, but, but, but yeah, full speed ahead. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, there's nothing else um, other than full speed ahead. And guys, I mean, we're going to talk, 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 talk about full speed ahead, you know, for the next, you know, for the next couple of months. Um, and, and, and one reason, and one reason that we do this is because just, you know, thanks, Daniel. He says, great class. Wish I had motivation Mondays every day. Well, you can't get motivation <laughs> Mondays every day, bro. Um, you know, all you got to do is just go to YouTube, just go to YouTube. A lot of our, mo um, and we've got to start putting, you know, and that's why it's critical. And I'm not, and I'm not saying it, I'm, I'm saying this being honest guys, it's critical for you not to miss these calls. Yeah. I mean, for you to take an hour out of your time Monday, we definitely appreciate it. Yeah. But really, like, you really don't need to miss this. It's like, I won't miss the Bible studies on a Wednesday. I won't miss it. It's just fruit to the spirit. It's fruit to the spirit, and it's so refreshing, you know, to hear my pastor on Wednesdays and Sundays. I, I, I just feel like... I feel like it's something I'm missing. It's almost like going outside with no shoes on or something. Something you know you're supposed to have on, even the damn time now without a mask on. Like it's something that I feel I have to have. And yeah. I feel like this Monday call, not only do I feel like it's a blessing to you guys, but it it, it helps me. You know, That's it helps me, um, you know, spark my week. You know, I look forward to this call because again, it, it allows me to be able to boost with momentum for the week. Um, I'm 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 blessing and I'm praying right now in, in the name of Jesus that everybody that's listening is going to have a blessed, prosperous week. Something good is going to happen to you. Something good is going to happen to you. 
And I just want yeah. you guys to believe it. I want you to receive it. And I want you to, get to know that God will take you to where you're trying to go if you let him in, you know? So, you know, we talk about God a lot. I know we do, but again, it's proven that we successful and it ain't because of what we did. If it was because of what I did, I would have been blessed a long time ago, but that was back when I was doing things my own way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's when I was doing things my own way, but now I don't do things my own way. So we got maybe two or three minutes. Um, if you guys got any questions, I know we've been talking a lot, but if you guys got any questions, it could be about mindset. It could be about real estate, business, whatever. If you guys got any questions, Zoom, Facebook, whatever, just throw it in the comment chat box real quick. We don't mind answering, you know, one or two questions before we jump off. Um, but we definitely appreciate you guys. We value your time. I know you guys, you know, need to get back with your families. Some of the fellows probably about to watch the game. So again, we thankful, appreciative um, for you guys. If you have a question that you want us to answer, um, we got, like I say, about two or three more minutes. Uh, we'd love to answer any question that you have. Again, it could be about real estate, mindset, business, life, spiritual reality scripture whatever you know so um if not we understand it's cool but just want to make sure we you know um don't look, uh, allow you guys to have a voice because it's just not about us you know um talking it's about allowing our community to have a voice you know and, and allow you guys to ask us any questions because one thing i wouldn't want to do is somebody have a question and it stopped them from a blessing stop them from a deal or stop them from moving forward so uh, if you guys got any questions, um, put it in the chat box. Um, we'll stay on for another minute or two to see if any questions come in. Uh, no questions come in, then, uh, you know, we'll see you guys next week if no questions come in in the next minute or so. Yeah, send us, um, send us, um, and while we're waiting on any question, uh, big shout outs to Ebony, uh, Brandon, uh, Jamal, uh, Carrie, Maurice, uh, Ronnie, OT the OG, uh, Kathy, uh, Leslie, uh, Cassandra, Denise, uh, Latonya, uh, Big Wheel Major, what's going on? Uh, peace out to everybody. We certainly appreciate all yeah, you guys. So much for, thank you all so much. Uh, big for ups to the Phillips. Uh, big ups to the Phillips uh, doing their thing. They're on this call. Uh, big, up, big ups to Deanna and Law Clerk on Demand, the best lead list um, in the world. Uh, you guys get with Deanna at lawclerkondemand.com. Um, you know, big ups to Delano. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Uh, thank you, Lachette, in the background for putting everything, you know, in place, putting it in motion. Uh, big ups to all you guys. Um, you know, Anitra, thank you. Yeah, you receive it. Yep, receive it, receive it, receive it, Anitra. Um, Daniel, yeah, definitely. Please um, go ahead and um, and go ahead and check out check out the um, check out our YouTube channel. Um, check out our YouTube channel and uh, invite people onto our YouTube channel. Uh, guys, we'll entreat you. We need two hundred more subscribers. We want to get to a thousand um, on our YouTube channel. We need two hundred more subscribers. Uh, we want to get to these get to these two hundred more subscribers. Um, within the next uh, within the next couple of weeks, so guys, if you can, if you're not subscribed to the Wholesalers R Us YouTube channel, uh, please subscribe to the Wholesalers R Us YouTube channel. We count it as a blessing. Uh, we put everything, you know, we put a lot of these zooms out here um, on our channel, guys, and we just ask you to support it. As we support you guys, uh, we ask you to support us, you know, in those endeavors. Again, we need 200 subscribers. Um, 200 more subscribers to our YouTube channel. Uh, support us, please, on uh, Instagram, guys. We are working to build up that page. So please support Wholesalers R Us on Instagram, guys. These are the things that we're asking of you, okay? Um, you can check me and Will out. You can check us out individually on, um, on Facebook. Uh, he's William Galloway. I am Tim Harvey, or who is Tim Harvey, on Instagram. He's Uncle Bill by Houses. On, um, on Instagram, guys, check us out. Check us out. Wholesalers are us. We've got a group. We've got a group on Facebook. Check out the group on Facebook. Check out the page on Facebook, guys. Just like it. We certainly we appreciate you guys. Thank you for everything that you're doing. If you want to be a part of this Dialing for Dollars program, send us an email 
to REI Wholesalers are us at gmail.com. That's REI Wholesalers are us at gmail.com. And listen, just let us know, you know, why you feel like you should be a part of this program, um, where you think that you will benefit, and also, you know, where you think that you can uh, benefit us. You know, um, it's going to be an even exchange. So, so guys, if you want to be a part of that program, send us an email to REI Wholesalers are us at gmail.com. If you want to know more about the program, send that email to REI Wholesalers are us at gmail.com. Also, guys, I know we're going just a little bit over. Listen, if you've got a deal, share it with us. Send it to REI Wholesalers are us at gmail.com. Me and Will are buyers. Um, we're also suppliers. You know, we got, you know, we got buyers. We're buyers and we got buyers. So um, so send it over to us. REI Wholesalers are us at gmail.com. Um, that verse today, the verse of the day was 2 Corinthians 8 verses 10 through 12, 2 Corinthians 8, verses 10 through 12, guys. Now, it's, it's my favorite verse now. I'm looking at it. It's yeah, send me a text, favorite. man. I need to read that tonight again. Send me yeah, it's, it's my favorite. For, for, for this fourth quarter, 2 Corinthians I got a pen. What you said is what? 2 Corinthians 10 through 12. You said 2 Corinthians 8. 8, 8 verses 10 through 12. Okay. Yep. Brother yep. Wilson said, Brother Wilson said, great call, fellas. What's going on, Brother Wilson? Appreciate it, Brother Wilson. Good to see you, brother. Certainly. Oh, we just got a question from um, Sarah. Uh, she says, does she says, does we have do, she said does, but I believe she meant do we have to hold the contract personally in order for you to consider it? Do you mean I just want to make sure I'm understanding? She said, uh, I just want to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying. You're saying in order for us to do business with you. Do you have to be the contract holder? Meaning, do you have to be direct to seller? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, we we prefer it that way, and and the reason why we prefer it that way is because um, it allows us to be able to control the process. Um, what happens is when you got all these different daisy chains, it kind of confuses things, you know. Because one thing that me and Tim, let me just say this: one thing that me and Tim provide that is our strength. Um, most people know us for is we're, we're we're very very. I mean, we're good in, in sales. Don't get me wrong. But we are very strong in dispositions. What I mean by that is we bring the buyer, whether it's us buying it ourselves or we'll bring one of our buyers from our network. So one thing we want to do at all times is protect our protect our buyers, protect our um, people who are we're bringing to the table. So if we if we bring a buyer and you're hoping that whoever you're dealing with comes through on their end, and we don't even know what's going on on that side. And a lot of times, you know, things fall through the cracks. Um, but when we have clean, you know, us to you, and we know that you're dealing with the seller, there's been times where, you know, we work with other wholesalers that's direct. And sometimes things might start falling apart on their side and we have to jump in and, and bring it back, you know, but it's hard for us to do it when there's so many different chains in right. between when it don't allow us to be able to, um, come in if needed because again there's times where a deal might fall through and we come right back in as the senior partners and say hey you know let's do it this way or hey make a suggestion here or there um, but when you got so many people involved sometimes it kind of you know it, it gets kind of confusing and sometimes things fall apart I'm not saying we won't do business that way because we have done deals where multiple investors was involved I mean you know it's happened I'm not saying it's not happened and we won't consider it but in order for it to be clean, because of here is our buyers, but we have an obligation to get you paid. So if we have an obligation for our buyers and we have an obligation to get you paid, we want to make sure we put ourselves in the best position. And the best position is, you know, we keep it close knit, you know, um, and we all, you know, work together simultaneously to get this thing done. And, you know, too much, too many people involved kind of, it kind of blocks a lot of that out. I don't know what else you want to add to that, Tim, but I mean, no, I mean, I'm that's, 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 yes or that's no. the exact that's reason question, but... uh, why we teach about this on um, dialing for dollars. Um, that's why we teach about, you know, that's why we teach about dialing for dollars. In this program, we're actually, you know, as a team, you know, we're processing our own leads as a team. So you don't have to worry about that. You know, we're direct with the seller or direct with the owner um, with this dialing for dollars program. So, 
you know, like, like Will said, I mean, you know, we definitely will look at the deals. We definitely will look at it, but, um, but we have to be able to look at it um, at all angles, you know, because we have a fiduciary responsibility um, to our buyers. Uh, we also have a responsibility to the seller um, to make sure that, you know, whatever happens that we get involved in, you know, is going to close, <laughs> you know, and of course we got a responsibility to you to make it happen. So, so that's now, why one thing I will say, one thing I will say, um, cause that was a great question. One thing I will say, sir, yeah. is if you are going to work that way and you're going to work where you don't maybe have a direct contract with the seller and you're working with somebody else who had the direct contract, then you need to work it to where you get a contract from that person. Exactly. You know, where you're in the deal, you know, because if you're not in the deal, legally really, in the deal, you know, it, it really, it's really kind of challenging to kind of um, try to add it unless you're point, unless you're going to um, work out a fee and say, Hey, I'm going to put you in contact with them directly who has the contract. And then we work out a fee with me, you know, on the back end with a marketing fee or something like that. I mean, that I'm just making, trying to come up with some suggestions on how that could be worked out. So it could be either you put us in contact with that person and we work out a fee with you, or you get a contract with them and then we all do another contract together, which is still considered a daisy chain, which I don't care for. But I'm just trying to think of ways that you can kind of keep that deal alive because it might be an opportunity. I mean, again, we've done deals like that before where there's other people involved. And, um, you know, we got the deal done and that's times yeah. where it totally was a disaster, you know? So um, I think another thing that's key is making sure that the people that are involved, they know what they're doing, you know? Absolutely. So Absolutely. You know, they know what they're doing, they understand the process, they understand what's all involved and it just make the process that more cleaner, you know? So those are some of the things, you know, I just want to mention about that scenario. Um, so to answer your question, it can be done. Um, but I would, I would, I would um, handle it the way I explained it earlier. And as long as you handle it one of those, one of those ways, then we can probably make it work. But um, we want to see our deals. So whatever you got, just you know, and we take a look at it. If you do have a deal from somebody else, make sure you make that understood on what's all going on and what all everything, what's all involved. Because if you bring in a deal, we're expecting you to be direct. If you're not, make that clear and make it understood on what the situation is. So we don't have to be overthinking it when we get kind of deep looking into the deal. Um, and she said, yes, got it. Do you purchase only in Georgia? No, we got partners all over. You know, we got partners um, in many states, um, none specifically, but we do have relationships, um, you know, that we've grown over the years. Um, we got relationships in Florida. We got, you know, relationships in Alabama. We got relationships up north, you know, on the Indiana. West Coast, you know, um, so, I mean, we, we, we have colleagues that doing the business at a high level, we're in masterminds, you know, different organizations that we've met people, you know, from all over and, you know, they're looking for deals and if we get something, we'll bring it their way and they get something our way, they'll bring it our way. So, I mean, again, you know, whatever you get, just send it and we'll figure it out, you know, and we also know ways to find buyers in those areas if we don't have a buyer. So we, we know ninja things on how to get in touch with the right people to move and shape some things. So. Whatever you get, no matter where it's at, um, just send it over, you know, um, you know, we'll make it work. If the numbers make sense, we'll make it work, pretty much. Yeah, big shout, um, and that, that's a great question. Um, you know, big, big shout to uh, Ebony, uh, Kelly and Super Agent, um, you know, up, to, to investors. She says she just subscribed uh, to the channel, so thank you so much thank you, uh, for subscribing. Man, earlier. What's up, Ebony, what's going on? Yep. Yeah, so um, you know, big ups to Ebony. Uh, we, you know, we've done business with Ebony. I'm grateful for that. Absolutely. Um, Ebony had a deal, and you know, you know, our other big brother was involved, and we got it done. You know, so I mean, that's that's what we do. You know, we bring absolutely you know. Ramon. Ramon, big ups, Ramon. Uh, big ups, Ramon. How you doing? The mayor of Atlanta. Uh, big ups, Mr. Tooks. I think that's it, bro. You want to close us out? I just want you guys to go receive your blessing. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's pretty much how I want to close it out. I mean, I, I, I basically spoke, you know, prosperity and, you know, um, nothing but great things for your week, for your month, for the end of the year, for the rest of this year. Um, you know, just go get it. You know, just go get it. It's there, you know. It's already there. It's already there. All I'm it's asking is just receive it, 
you know, um, I can't receive it for you. Tim can't receive it for you. You just got to go receive it. You just got to go get it. You know, it's already there. My pastor been talking about it. He says it's already there. You know, it's already there. You know, Georgia Power, they'll give you the power. They ain't gonna come in your house and turn on the switch, turn the lights on. The power there. You got to go get it. So go get your blessing. Real we'll stuff. See you guys next Monday, eight o'clock, same time. Um, thank y'all for joining. Be blessed. And um, we'll talk to y'all next Monday. Big town. Yeah.